This narrative about Republicans being racist and cannot stand Mexican people and black people and women is ridiculous. This idiotic guy was on stage with Candace Owens a few days ago and asked her, what America are we going back to to make America great again? The one where women couldn't vote or black people were swinging from trees? I would say to him if I was standing in front of him, I absolutely want to go back to the America where women couldn't vote. Fascinating. Now that gentleman was Mark Robinson. He is the Republican nominee for governor in the state of North Carolina. And what you just heard him say back in 2020 sounds pretty bad, let's all admit. But the longer context actually shows that it may have been his weird and poorly worded bizarre way of making a different point. So get ready because the story is gonna get about 15% better and then a lot worse, okay? This is a bit of a roller coaster ride of a story. So without further ado, let's get to the longer context. I absolutely want to go back to the America where women couldn't vote. Do you know why? Because in those days we had people who fought for real social change and they were called Republicans. And they are the reason why women can vote today. Those days that he talked about when black folks were swinging from trees, guess who it was out there fighting to bring that to an end, to bring Jim Crow to an end? It was Republicans. So that's the America we want to bring back. We want to bring back the America where Republicans and principles and true ideas of freedom rule. That's the America we want to bring back. That's why I'm a Republican. I'm a Republican because of the 13th, 14th, the 15th Amendment to the Constitution and the 19th Amendment to the Constitution. I'm a Republican because whenever you look at true, honest to God, social change for the better, at the top, leading the charge is a Republican. So what he's really trying to communicate, although he did word it in a clunky way, is that you know he wants to go back to the days where the Republican Party was the party of Lincoln. So, <laughs> but yeah. nah. we might have millions of people watching this show, but you can be the difference maker because we just need one percent of our audience to be paid members, and then this show can be around forever. So you can make that difference. Click join now. First of all, we're fair. A lot of people have been characterizing that video as he wants to go back to when women can't vote. And no, he said it very, very poorly. And he said it at a women's event. It was yeah. the Republican women of Pitt County that he was speaking at. But that's not what he meant. You could tell within the context, and especially because he mentioned the 19th Amendment there, that hey, Republicans brought you the 19th Amendment, which is women right to vote. So, so he didn't mean it like that, although, the part, but he's, but hold, <laughs> it's a roller coaster. It is. Because he said a lot of terrible things that would make you think that, uh, that are very similar. So we're gonna give you that as well. And then we'll have a conclusion on who uh, this uh, feller Mark Robinson is. But on the party of Lincoln, I wrote about this in chapter three of my book, uh, Why Republicans Suck is the name of the chapter. Uh, it's because they pretend to be the party of Lincoln, but they switched during the Southern strategy. And the Southern strategy was, oh, uh, the Democrats led by LBJ passed Voting Rights Act, Civil Rights Act. So let's switch over to being the racist party so we can get racists to vote for us because the Democrats are no longer racist. They're helping black people. So don't tell me you're the party of Lincoln. The, the party had a 180 degree change. So pretending that that didn't happen is absurd. He's lying to people. Either he's completely ignorant or totally lying to them on purpose. Now. If you take what he said at that event in a vacuum, you can, you know, obviously you can figure out that he's not specifically saying that he wants to end women's right to vote. However, when you take a step back and you look at a longer record from Mr. Robinson, you'll notice that he has a long history of saying things that can be interpreted as sexist, homophobic, and anti Semitic. For example, he claimed that feminism was created by Satan. <laughs> All right, yeah. He's said that men who identify as feminists are about as manly as a pair of lace panties and are weak minded jelly backed. I've, I've never heard that expression before, but I like it. Jelly backed men. Hmm. He's routinely referred to feminists as feminazis or feminazis. And in one particularly colorful post, described those who support equal rights for women as sexist, hairy armpit having, poo poo hat wearing pinkos. 
I don't know what a poo poo hat is. Does anybody know what that is? I don't want to find out. Uh, maybe uh, we can get some memes in here that puts a poo poo hat on uh, Mark Robinson mm -hmm. and see what it looks like. I'm, I is this guy making up terms? Okay, there's, okay, yeah. all right, but. Can I give you more, please? Yeah. Right, okay, so ahead. here's a post from Facebook in 2017. The family, which consists of a father, man, a mother, woman, and children, sons and daughters who are likewise male and female, okay. are the building block of God's creation. That is why it is under full scale attack by Satan to destroy it. Mm -hmm. Homosexuality and irresponsibility to destroy the father, lesbianism and feminism to destroy the mother, and abortion and rebellion to destroy the children. So look, he's obviously very religious. Um, he is very much in favor of the traditional nuclear family. I'm in favor of families, period, right? Like, I'm in favor because, I mean, look, some people unfortunately come from broken homes and it's awful and we should do what we can to prevent that, but not in an authoritarian way to support people as much as we can in order to protect and uplift healthy families. But with that said, why does it have to be specifically in his vision? You know what I'm saying? Like, who hurt you? Who hurt you, Mr. Robinson? Like, he's so worked up about the feminists and like Satan. And he's very paranoid about things that I don't think he needs to be paranoid about. Now, there is obviously a problem with an increase of single mothers and all of that. I understand that. And we should try to find solutions to that. But I don't know if going after feminazis and, you know, invoking Satan and all that is really going to do much. My favorite part was the lesbians destroying mothers. How exactly is that happening? Are there lesbians evading the suburbs and be like, let's go wreck some mommies? Wow. Oh my God. And is it working? And is it on tape? Uh. Jesus. <laughs> that post is still up, by the way. He hasn't taken that down. He also equated feminism with sexism and racism, saying that if blacks should stand up against racism and women should stand up against sexism, shouldn't men stand up against feminism? He no, posted you on moron. posted on September 20th, 2016. Uh, that same day, he also wrote, I am really sick of feminism and feminists. They are just as bad, if not worse, than racists. Yeah, no, no, someone broke his heart. Like that's definitely what happened. Because yeah. I can't imagine. And by the way, which feminist? Is yeah. it the first wave, second wave, third wave oh, feminist? Go on, go on. Which feminist do you hate? I, I want to know. <laughs> He's no idea about any waves. He's like, no, I don't go. I don't, I don't go to no ocean. I don't know what you're talking about. Third wave feminist. Okay, listen, cuckoo choo, Mr. Robinson. I'd also like to know who who hurt you. <laughs> okay, was it a lesbian? Uh, okay. <laughs> Did they destroy you? Um, anyways, uh, so feminist just means someone who thinks that women should have equal rights. So it doesn't make you weak as a man or jelly backed or whatever he called it as a man to support feminists. It just makes you rational and a decent person. In fact, it makes you secure and confident. If you're a weirdo who's like, feminists are out to get me. What if women had equal rights? Then we would never be able to survive as men. You just told on yourself, man, and you're not strong at all. You're super weak. Yeah. What about women being equal to you threatens you so much? You know, there's this stereotype about feminists and how they're like, I mean, he shared some of that stereotype. Like they're all hairy armpitted poo poo yeah. heads who like, <laughs> who like, who, you know, hate men and this and that. No, I, look, again, it's a stereotype. They focus on some of the outliers who say extreme things. But for the most part, you're right, Jane. People just want to be treated the same, right? And not be treated differently because of what their sex is or what their gender is. And by the way, he also said this. That this is why I think something happened to him that makes him so worked up about feminists. Because back in early 2018, he had another post about actress Halle Berry, singer Mariah Carey, and singer, writer, producer Issa Rae, my personal favorite, dressed in you know gowns. They're a little low cut. And in response to that, he posts the picture and then has a caption that says, they're starting a new a new movement called dressing in see-through ultra tight breast bearing whore dresses to protest sexual harassment. It's, yeah, and that was at the height. Obviously, that was at the height of the Me Too movement. The, oh, Mark Robinson has done some things in his life. Trust me on that. Allegedly, okay. we don't okay, know. Okay, we sure. don't know. Okay. We don't know. But a guy who says things like that has some pent up rage, and has 
probably done things that oh, whoa, whoa, they had it coming, they wore a dress like that. What am I gonna do, right? I'm a guy. No, being a guy doesn't mean you're a jerk or you're a monster or you're against equality. If you were a strong man, you'd be in favor of all those things. I have to share one more at least because there's there's such a long list. Um, he said that women who breastfeed in public are shameless attention hogs. They're just, they're, do you guys, breastfeeding is awful. It is one of the worst, like, I, I, it's awful. It's so bad, it is so bad. Like it's torture for women, but they're doing it because it's good for their baby, for their child. And they have to do it like every 20 minutes. The milk has to come out and it's very painful, right? But this moron doesn't know anything. Oh, they're just showing off. <laughs> no dumbass, you perv. You're probably looking. What? What's and that's wrong with why this guy? they're not trying to show it to you. You're looking because you're a perv, right? And what do you think he did that night when he saw those dresses on those celebrities that he's talking about? I don't want to know. Okay, think about it, Jake. Oh, not, those dresses are so bad. Show me one more time. No. Show me one more time. <laughs> okay, and listen, look, they always insult the other side with with abandon, right? Oh, you guys wear poo poo. Can't get past it. Okay. Anyway, imagine if I said similar things about evangelical Christians. Oh, they wear they they wear crap on their heads. It's oozing from actually with Rudy, it actually was. But anyway, if I said about evangelical Christians, you know what Mark Robinson? Was? Oh my God, we're the victims. We're on Christians are under attack. We're under attack. We're such victims. <laughs> right? He says it about the other side, and he's like, "What? What? I'm a tough guy." Okay. I mean, to be fair, he's getting some backlash. I'm. He's no, no, he's getting backlash. I'm saying about him. Right. He thinks he's a tough guy when he says things like this. You don't come and if you say it, a tough guy. Yeah, and don't. if you say it about him, I guarantee you, he becomes a weeping mess looking for his poo poo hat on the floor. <laughs> Tracy, where is my poo poo platter? Okay, okay, okay. In 2017, Robinson also posted his thoughts on the topic of killing baby Hitler. And here's what he said. Oh, no. <laughs> Folks always talk about killing baby Hitler to spare humanity from extreme misery. But if you really want to do humanity a favor, go back and kill baby Friedrich Engels and toddler Karl Marx. <laughs> yeah, if you have intellectuals who might come up with new ideas, go back and murder them as babies. I think the baby Hitler is a better target. <laughs> yeah, and look, if you send about Stalin, who was a dictator who led to tens of millions of deaths, it's more understandable. Yeah, totally, I agree. Right? But a guy who came up with, like, imagine if you're angry at capitalism, you're like, we should go back and murder baby Adam Smith. I mean, to be fair, I'm sure Robinson <laughs> like has read Das Kapital and oh, like is over and you know, over got real again. worked up about it. Yeah, he's got like little tabs on the places he's intellectually criticized. Okay, super last thing. Look, I want to go back to when he said, uh, "Well, doesn't that mean that men should stand up against feminism?" No, if there's feminists that have gone too far and they say men should have less rights, no, we would be against that because that's an injustice. We're yes, actually for equality. We're not for. And we're for justice, we're not for injustice. But if, but they don't say that, feminists say we, that women should have equal rights. And if you're saying that men should fight back against that, you're basically saying, I want you to be inferior to me. So that by definition makes you a sexist. But are you trying to explain this to Mark Robinson ain't gonna work. I don't think he's worried about being perceived as a sexist. It doesn't look like <laughs> yeah. <it. laughs> yeah. If, if he is, he's got a funny way of showing it. Yeah.